The family have written a letter today to Attorney General Merrick Garland uh, requesting his immediate intervention uh, to alter uh, the conditions that my sister is facing during her trial. Remove the shackles. Do not transport her from the Metropolitan Detention Center to the pending cell uh, in the courthouse in uh, four-point restraint shackles. Uh, they cause pain. They injure her. Uh, she's been bruised. She's even bled on occasion. They force her to walk up and down stairs. That's torture and it's absolutely unnecessary. The reality is that she's 59 years old. She's been detained for 522 days in the care, if that's the right word, of the Bureau of Prisons. And she simply shouldn't be treated this way. And it's impeding her and it's hurting her and there's no cause for it. When we're not requesting her to be released during the trial, those decisions have already been made for whatever reasons. Uh, you, know, you can be a, a, a potential you could be accused of murder and you will still get bail in this country, but not Ghislaine Maxwell. There's no reason for that. But just coming back to the conditions of trial, she's facing trial. It's day six this morning. The trial is uh, scheduled to last another five weeks. And we don't want this daily uh, torture to continue. Get rid of the shackles and feed her. She is not being fed. She had a day with no food at all. She's in from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. when she gets back to her cell in the Metropolitan Detention Center and on most days she gets a boiled egg. She is lucky if it's not moldy. She gets a couple of pieces of stale bread. She gets a banana. That's it for 12 days for a defendant who is innocent facing trial. That is not nutritious. That is not sustaining. That's a form of abuse. So we want her to be fed. We've appealed to Judge Nathan. It's her courtroom but she says she's not responsible at all for the for, the, for the ha how the detainee or how the defendant is handled. And she says that's the response with the U.S. Marshal. The U.S. Marshal Service says nothing to do with us. She's a detainee at the, at the uh, Metropolitan Detention Center. Talk to them. The Bureau of Prisons says it's happening outside the facility. It's not our gig. So this is ridiculous. This is buck passing from the judge to the Marshal Service to the BOP. And all of them declined to get involved. Merrick Garland should intervene today. You know, there's three simple things. Stop torturing her, feed her, and allow her to talk to counsel. These are pretty normal things. And when you think that the Department of Justice is responsible for the, uh, for the conduct of justice in this country, and it's supposed to be fair and impartial, this is unfair, inhumane, and frankly, and, and I'm, I'm saying this as a visitor and a guest in your country, it's a disgrace for the United States of America to treat people this way. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.